morning guys um, today I wanted to try out the hourglass mineral veil primer and the immaculate foundation so I have it on right now on my face um, I would say it's a very lightweight foundation it's actually not very um, great coverage um, however it does feel like I'm not wearing foundation which is always a good thing and I'll show you a clip of me applying it on my face On my face today, I'm wearing a green, olivey kind of eyeshadow. My lips, I have Topshop uh, Crayon in Koi, C-O-Y, and I topped it with a YSL Golden Gloss, which I really love. So hopefully this foundation will actually last. Uh, as you can see, it's not great coverage. I only have very minimal um, concealer on. And you can definitely see my scars and all that. So it definitely doesn't cover as well as my Estee Lauder Double Wear. But hopefully it will keep me matte, which is what I'm looking for. Hey guys, so I'm back in my bathroom and I've been using the hourglass primer and the foundation for about a week now and so far so good I haven't been breaking out um, I do find that the primer is pretty good the pump is working fine now and um, it really goes on very smoothly and it really helps the foundation to last even longer I've tried also using the primer and then my bourgeois healthy mix foundation and it really causes the foundation to last for the whole day so that's great um, I would say that the foundation the immaculate foundation kind of flakes up at the dry patches around my um, chin here especially this area I'm pretty dry here and um, it will kind of show a bit of flakiness or it's a little bit more rough so it's not as flawless but overall I find that the foundation is still very lightweight and it's very easy on the skin and the great thing is that there's no foundation transfer even after six hours so unless you um, really press down on it there wouldn't be a foundation transfer if you kind of like gently pat your face so that's great um, at least for me so although I do get shiny in my nose and my cheek area after about six to eight hours, I'm satisfied with that. Anyway, I think I will not repurchase the Hourglass Foundation, but I will repurchase its primer. And um, yeah, the foundation isn't the holy grail for me. I still think the Estee Lauder one is definitely better in terms of coverage and um, how long it lasts on my face. So I hope this review helps anybody who's interested um, And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye